G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome, look, my new splat. <laughs> oh, my lovely big tray. Now, did you see my splat coasters that I made? I did, it. I did neons, because I've never used neons before. There's the green one, they're all different shapes. And the bright orange one, and there's a pink one, and a yellow one. So, yes, so I've got the splat coasters, and now I'm doing the splat tray. This is a bit deeper. It is one centimetre deep, for those that like to have something a little bit thicker. Um, but you don't have to fill it up that much. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bowl, like, you know, like it's holding like apples it'll kind of be like this <laughs> you know a fruit bowl so the fingers will be up around like that <laughs> that's that's what's in my head anyway so I thought I'd do like um, stained glass kind of look in shades of blues and greens so I'm using the octopus fluids um, I've got I'm gonna open it over here because sometimes you get little crusty bits around this is sapphire and I'm just gonna put a couple of drops in first this one is deep sea Put three drops in each and just see. I, I don't want it very, very dark. And a lagoon. I always say to myself, don't make it so dark. And then I end up putting way too much in. Just one hint of colour. One, two, three. All right, so we've got three drops of each in. Um, it may well not be enough. But let's just start there. I find that when I'm trying to blend colours, like, you know, you go from um, one shade to another, uh, if the colours are too dark, you get that definite line where the colours join, and I didn't want that. So we'll just mix up three drops first. Make sure that you've got it from the side of the cup as well, so that you don't end up with streaks in your in your resin. Right, this is the deep sea. Oops, I should have. I've put them here because I'm going to one, two, three, four, change colours. One, two, three, four, change colours. <laughs> One, two, three, four. That, that's what I've kind of worked out that I'm going to do. All right. They probably aren't quite as dark as they need to be just yet. I probably need another two drops in each, but I just wanted to see. I don't want to get put too much in and then have it, you know, too dark. This one and this one look too similar. I might have to change that sapphire to a darker blue. I like these two together. But this one I think I'm going to have to change out. Let's try some navy. It's just that those two colours are very, very similar. So I wanted a turquoise, a blue, and then a dark greenish sort of a tone. Oh, that's better. Look at that. Otherwise, everything's just looking too green. That's pretty. Now, you put samples down on a piece of card, and they look totally different. Okay, one more drop for you. One, two drop. Oops, three went in. Um, and then... The lagoon. Another two drops in there. All right, let me stir these up. Okay, so we have. I'll show you the three colours next to each other. There we go. That's them. I think they look really pretty together. I just had to add a couple more drops of the green because it was looking too much like the the pale bluey aqua. Really pretty. All right, here we go. Now, how am I going to do this? Um, how am I going to, okay, I'm going to start with just putting a little bit of colour in each. Let me get a piece of paper towel so I can clean up my drips. So that one's going to have the green. One, two, three, four big fingers, like so. And then you are going to be in here. One, two, three. Actually, maybe I'll just do that. 
four. Now you've got four. I was sort of counting four big fingers. One, two, three, four big fingers for you. Like so. So I'm going to have to let this sit for a while. Um, I am using the Platinum Ultra Clear. Um, when I've tried to make bowls with the Platinum 360 Plus, I find that it sets hard in the middle really fast. Um, and then it, it doesn't bend, whereas if you go with the um, Platinum Ultra Clear, I don't know that you're going to see much difference in these. It takes longer to set up, and I'm hoping that you know it won't do that. It won't go hard in the middle and set up real fast. I have mixed up. I have mixed up. Um, I have done. I've written it down. I've written it down. Three hundred grams of. A and 130 grams of part B and I thought that would be you know, deep enough hopefully that will be deep enough because so I thought I'd like a, like a nice big thick sort of a chunky looking bowl rather than just a, a thin a thin one like I normally do. How's it looking so far? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hang on to your stick, woman. Okay, so that's all the green. I think I've worked it out pretty good. See, I basically just did whatever I could fit in this cup. This cup was right up to there. So, yeah, 400, 400 grams-ish. 430 actually to be exact 430 300 of a 130 of B if you want to know what that is in ounces just divide it by 30 28 exactly but look 30 is close enough see that little bit there there's a bit of a streak there might have been caught in the sides now I know there's quite a few bubbles there but this is a really thin resin um, and the bubbles will just come up to the surface um, and I'll be able to pop them or they'll pop themselves because it is a really nice thin resin. I'll just use all of this up. Well, we shouldn't scrape it too much. <laughs> The scraping because it's got ridges on the sides and the the ink can get stuck in there and then you get these streaks so you're gonna make sure you've got no streaks I don't want to blend the two the three colors together I'm just gonna leave them like that I'm gonna just clean off my sticks real quick so I can use them again now oh gosh it's been so long since I've actually made a bowl out of the ultra clear um, I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take to set up but now I'm gonna just I'm gonna have a little go around the edges because I can see there's a couple of little bubbles caught They like to get caught in the little edges, don't they? So easy to see them though because the resin's so transparent. So just go in and dislodge them because the resin's so thin. You can just sort of push them into the middle. They'll come up and hopefully they will just pop on their own. I'm just going to go through and just check each little little fingerling little splat do you like them splat <laughs> do you like it uh, I've been looking forward to using this one I made the mold at the same time I made the coasters I just haven't got around to using it until now I've got so many videos waiting to upload 
because I've got so many ideas of things that I want to do, but you know, I can't, I can't put one up a day. That would just be too much, wouldn't it? You'd, you'd never watch them all. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Now let's do a quick little. Actually, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use my little dude. Look, see, it's the difference. The little dude. Um, you can because when you're aiming with this, you're probably going to get the silicone as well. Whereas you, you use the little dude, you can just, you know, go inside those fingers you can actually zap individual bubbles just filled in but it's not really working all that well I've got a few of them <laughs> let's try this one no. oh oh there we go there we go might have to put a little bit more butane in it but basically you can actually you know Follow the shape. Just don't get too close to your, your actual silicone itself. So we'll give that a few minutes and let the bubbles come up. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be really pretty. You, know, you don't have, if you're doing this, you don't have to um, make them so transparent. You might want to do them quite, quite opaque, you know, more like the splat. Um, I was actually going to try and do like a rainbow one with, you know, like two colours in one and two and two and two. But I've done so many rainbow bowls, I thought I'll do something different. Every time I seem to be doing a bowl, I do a rainbow bowl. So um, I won't do that again. Now, there's, with the green, I don't know what it is, but there's little bits of, I don't know what they are, little dark bits. I don't know whether it's little crusty bits that have fallen off the side of the the bottle or, or what, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pick them all out because they look awful. Look, can you see those? So I'm gonna have to pick those all out. Hmm. I don't know whether they're in the ink or whether they were just on the side of the, the bottle. Anyway, I'm going to do that. Um, I'll come back to you when it's ready to put into a bowl. You can either put it on the outside of a bowl or you can put it on the inside of a bowl. So I'll find a bowl and get organised and I'll see you in probably <laughs> eight hours, I guess. Right. It's really hard to know when to... Um, yeah, I went to unmold, but it's coming away from the edges. Kind of looks a bit wrinkly on the sides, so maybe it's a bit soft. But look, I've started now, so <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Loosen them. I don't know that I've actually ever made a bowl using this particular resin. I'm not sure how long it takes. So, it was, I lifted up that one earlier, about an hour ago, and then I thought, mm, no, nah, not ready, <laughs> put it back down again. <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> so, I've got my bowl. I'm going to try that bowl. Um, it's, oh, that looks so much better than it did there. <laughs> oh, God, I hope I'm not going to leave fingerprints on it. Now, which is going to be the top and which is going to be the bottom? The top's going to leave a little bit of a ridge. You know, when the, you get that little lip, so I think I'm going to go that way. I think. Ooh, all right, let's just do this. Let's just do it. Ah, it's doing it. It's doing it. <laughs> all right, let's try and, try and make them kind of even. I'm looking at the side there, like that much room, that much room. Oh, it is wrinkling a little bit. I could probably heat it actually and maybe that'll get the wrinkles out. It's probably because it's so thick, maybe. There we go, it's in anyway. <laughs> it's in. Alright, now depending on how far you want to push it in, because the bowl actually has like a flat bottom. So it depends on how much you want to push it. Can you see the wrinkles? It's just because it's so thick and you know it's bending, but I'm gonna see if I can get them out with my my heat gun. I don't know if it will work or not. So just put it on low. 
wait for that to warm up and then I'll see if, if it'll do anything. Oh look, they're going, they're going! It's working! Yay, it's working, yay! <laughs> oh gosh, small things amuse small minds, hey? Wow, it's working. Oops, this one's going over there. Better not heat it too much, I guess. Oh, look at that, they've gone. Right, now be really careful when you put down your heat gun. Don't put it on anything, <laughs> any flammable surfaces. I put mine, um, I put the nozzle, the metal bit there, I put it on my, um, on top of my scale because my scale's got like a, is it metal or glass or something? I think it's metal or glass. Oops, oh gosh, now I've got fingerprints. This is a good way to get rid of any little marks, just heat it. And it'll go. Yay! Now I don't want that one folding over that much. Because they're all, you know, fingerlings, when they're, fo when, when they're, they're out like that, but when you put them in a bowl, they kind of come back in a bit closer. So I'll just have to make sure that these two don't touch. No touching, you guys. Get a chaperone onto you. No touching. There we go. And we'll just keep an eye on them. They're, they're, they're okay now. I just want to make sure that nobody touches anybody else. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, look, it's still moving. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Let's get you down. I want to get you down and have a look. Oh, this is so exciting, you guys. This is so exciting. Look. Oh my gosh, that's what they look like in there. Oops, finger in the way. Round we go. Actually, I could just turn the bowl, couldn't I? <laughs> Rather than me trying to walk around. Now, I know there's lots of reflections and things from the ring lights, but basically, that's what it looks like. And then that's the top, the top edge. So it's nice and thick. Like so. All right. Oh, now, this will have to stay in here till tomorrow. This is not one that I can unmold later on today. We're going to have to wait. So I'll be patient. So <laughs> I'll go and cook dinner. That'll give me something to do. But um, yeah, just check the distance like from there to there as opposed to the other side. You know, make sure that the distances are all equal. Unless, of course, you want it a bit off centre. You might want to have it a bit off center. This is, I might try and just heat that little section there because that's where I I checked it, that one about an hour ago and it wasn't ready. So I put it back down again, but I think I'll just heat that and see if I can fix that little bit there. All right. Oh, I love it so far. I love it, I love it, I love it. Right. See you guys tomorrow. It's the next day uh, and we'll just pop this straight out, hey? Just give it a bit of a squeeze and you can hear that crack, crack, crack where the plastic is releasing from the silicone or oh, the resin <laughs> I should say there it is oh look oh my gosh you guys look at it oh wow that is exactly what I wanted except for this one piece here where it's a bit it's a bit manky because I took it out a bit early but I've written it down on my little notebook there that it was seven hours this first one was up I think like six or six and a half hours so we won't, we just won't look at that one, okay? <laughs> Put my finger over it, no. Um, but there you go. There's the back. My husband actually said to me, do one that's like that as a stand and put another one on top, <laughs> like as a sculpture. But, you know, you could you could do it in a, um, like a, a narrower, make it a vase. That would be really pretty as well, hey? I don't think you'd be able to make it too narrow, though. Otherwise, otherwise these fingers would all be sort of touching and um, joining up with each other. But um, this is exactly what I wanted. I designed it so that you could make a bowl. I mean, you don't have to. You could leave it as a... Oh, I like that, how it spins. You could leave it as a, a tray. You, know, you could put handles on it. You could find some really funky handles on it. Um, but there you go. Um, the other thing you could do is um, mould it over the back of something instead but I didn't want to do that because this one's got it's got a little raised thing and it's got some writing on it and things which would also be transferred over unless you put a piece of plastic over it but anyway that's what I did hope you like it
hope you like my bowl, my splat bowl. <laughs> I love it. I'll have to take it over onto maybe I'll, I'll get a white piece of card. Hang. Well, it's kind of white, my card, just so that you can see, hopefully you can see the different colours. So that was the deep sea, and then that was the sapphire, and then that was the, the lagoon, the aqua sort of colour. But uh, yeah, I will, I'll try and get some better photos of it for you. Just so that you can maybe see the different colours. It's a bit of an overcast rainy day today, but maybe we can go outside anyway. Shall we go outside? Maybe we'll just stand here in front of the window <laughs> rather than go outside. There you go. Wouldn't it look nice in like shades of yellows and, and browns as well maybe? I think that would look really pretty. Shades of yellows and browns, but it's it kind of looks like glass, doesn't it? <laughs> it didn't have any bubbles when I left it, but um, as it's as it's cured and as it's heated, the resin's released heat, I guess. As it's cured, it's released heat, and you get a few little little bubbles because they weren't there when I when I left. Well, I don't think they were there. I didn't see them. So there you go. Let me know what you think of my splat bowl and um, I'll see you all again for the next video. Thank you so much for being here with me. This was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, I'll see you next time for the next video. Take care. Bye for now.